Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Welcome back to End Time Generation. So, 15 years ago, I had a uh, dream about World War III, and then back in 2018, I talked about it. Now, I had to pull this video from my Rumble channel that I don't use anymore because all the videos on there are post-trib, and I don't believe in that no more. So, I deleted all those videos off my YouTube channel, but I wasn't going to spend the time and go through my Rumble channel and delete the videos, so I just deleted them all off my YouTube channel, and I accidentally deleted this video as well, so I had to go dig it up from the archives on my Rumble channel, but I'm going to play this video for you, and uh, I believe it is now for the time that you and I are living in back when I had it 15 years ago I wasn't really sure when this would take place I thought during the Trump administration um, that this dream would then take place and it didn't so then I wasn't sure as to uh, when it would but now seeing the way things are happening in the news it's possible that we might see the fulfillment take a look Praise the Lord, everyone. I want to thank you for watching End Time Generation. I've been thinking about a dream that I've had uh, about 10 years ago, and it was two parts to this dream. And I'm not one to have dreams. I don't, you know, have dreams a lot. And, and, and if I do, rarely it's, you know, a God dream. It's something maybe, you know, I've been going through for a while, just issues of life, you know. But I had two dreams, and one of them came to pass, and then the second one hasn't happened yet. Now, these dreams I had were about 10 years ago, and it was 2009. I just got married, and the day after my wedding, I had a dream that my dad passed away. And uh, in the dream, my dad was really skinny, and uh, he was like kind of like wasting away, and, and he was like, he was lying in bed. And uh, my family was like, well, I don't know what's wrong with him. I don't understand what's going on. Well, I had the dream. I told my wife about it. And she was basically the only one I told. And it wasn't until a few years later in uh, May of 2012 that he actually passed away. He had cancer. And, you know, I was telling my wife, I said, hey, remember, I said, I had a dream. I said, right after I got married, I had a dream the next night and uh, about my dad passing away. And uh, it was just weird because it like it came back to me, but then also the other dream came back to me as well. And the reason why I've mentioned about my dad passing away is because it was a two part dream. It was like God saying, after your dad passes away, the second dream shall come to pass. And the dream was I was in a dark room and it was completely dark and all of a sudden. I heard a voice behind me calling me by my first name. It said, Dustin. And when I turned around, I saw nobody standing there, but there was a light. Now, before I used to uh, go to church, before I got in church, before I gave my life to the Lord, I used to hang out at bars a lot. And they used to have, uh, I used to play pool with my buddies. And over the pool table, they had these lights where the a light would hang from the ceiling and it was like a, a shade that came down like this and then the light would kind of show would be shown downward and it would just you know kind of like illuminate the whole table and the whole area and that's basically what I saw in my dream was when I turned around and I, after I hearing my name I saw this light and it was kind of shining downward and I saw an arm kind of go out from the light and I saw what it was an arm from the elbow down and it was like a, like a like kind of like a robe like and um i saw this finger and it pointed and it said look and when i looked i could see the entire earth beneath me i saw all the continents i saw uh and they did not look anything like what they show us on uh the maps you see in school it didn't look anything like that but on each continent had a, a piece of tape on it and the name of the country written on the tape and I was looking and observing this from going on and then I heard another voice say Dustin look and when I did the hand goes like this again and it pointed and 
I saw what was to be missiles going off in this direction and then that direction and this direction and that direction. And the interesting thing was I was standing above the United States. I could see every every continent. I mean, I could see all the countries and I knew what countries they were, not by the shape of them, but by what was labeled, by what they, you know, God had literally labeled all the nations. And I saw the I saw the words written out, Russia, China, I saw Afghanistan, I've seen Middle Eastern countries, I've seen, you know, Australia, and except for the United States, which I was standing above, which I believe I was representing the United States being an American. And uh but what was interesting is it was laid out like um you know how like the people who believe in the flat earth, how they believe how everything is like um, right there in the center, you know, I mean, I didn't see no like, I couldn't see the ends like, you know, the, the Arctic Circle they talk about. Um, but all, all I could see was like the land masses and everything was kind of like, like, together, almost, it was really close to each other. And but what I could see was missiles going off. I mean, it was between us and Russia. It was uh, even North Korea, China. I mean, there was just total conflict, total chaos. And I believe that was World War III. And the reason why I'm talking about this right now is because a lot of the stuff that's been going on in the news with Donald Trump sending 1,500 uh, soldiers over to the Middle East. And it just always seems like, you know, every time I turn around, we're hearing wars and rumors of wars. And I was reminded just the other day of, you know, this dream that I had and that, you know, it's like, well, after the first one was fulfilled, I mean, you know, that was a hard time in my life. And I didn't understand that dream because that was in 2009. And then, you know, it wasn't for a few years down the road that it actually came to pass. And now I've just been waiting patiently for this second dream to be fulfilled. And lately what I've been seeing going on in the news, I thought we were going to end up going to war with North Korea last year sometime, but, you know, it didn't escalate into something that I thought it could have escalated into. And, you know, and that war the, that I had, the dream that I had, it may be for another few years down the road, but, you know, I've never seen the attentions and, and the uh, conflict going on like I see right now. And, I just wanted to share that dream with you guys and, and show you that, you know, there is a scripture in the Bible that talks about a six trumpet war. And it's a war that kills a third of mankind. And it's called the Euphrates River War. And it starts from the Euphrates. The Euphrates River War is the next war to happen in Bible prophecy. It starts in uh, Turkey. The Euphrates River does. Starts in Turkey goes through Syria, goes into Iraq, and it ends in the Persian Gulf. And that is where I believe that this is going to, um, this war, World War III is going to spark, and it's going to happen, and according to scriptures. But I just wanted to share my dream, and I just wanted to, because, uh, you know, I was just reminded about it after I was watching the news. I just kind of, you know, thought about it. I was like, wow, I was like, hey, that dream I had just came flooding back to me. But I wanted to give a video on it really quick. But leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. I mean, a lot of people are having dreams and God's like trying to show people and wake people up. But leave your comment. Thank you for watching. Until next time, God bless.